Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show y'all how to run an AccuSump specifically for the SRT4. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post all the part numbers and descriptions in the description for this video. So, it'll make it a lot easier for you if you decide to add this to your build. I felt like it was a very important part of my build, even though I've tried to bulletproof the oil system in many other ways, like billet oil pump gears and... Um, porting the galleries and stuff or galleys but uh, this part of the build specifically um, pertains to having a backup plan to the backup that I already have so this here basically is, is a accumulator it stores pressurized oil from the oil system and uh, gets it has this uh, you can either run a manual or an electric valve to release the oil pressure depending you'll have a switch here I ran the 25 to uh, I think it was I'm not sure what it says but I'm pretty sure it works to 25 psi it kicks on so I'm hoping that'll be enough oil to keep the engine alive long enough for this thing to kick on if it doesn't, I'll have to run a switch and make sure I cut it on before I do a pull. Um, but otherwise, basically, this thing could save your engine. Uh, it, it holds two quarts on this model. You can have three quart models, I believe. They've been around for a long time. There's plenty of online information about them. Um, I'm not going to lie. I probably got all my information online that I needed. So uh, basically, what you're going to need is an oil filter sandwich adapter, which I've already got on the car. So uh, I don't want to take it off because I already cleaned it off and it's sealing with the oil filter and all that. So basically, just try to imagine the uh, oil sandwich adapter here. It's about an inch and a half wide. So you still have room for the oil filter and to fit between the, uh, the bell housing of the transmission and whatnot. And this is a big oil filter kit too. So you can make this work with the big oil filter kit. But uh, anyways, you're not gonna have the stock oil cooler obviously, but you can run an oil cooler. It's just uh, depending on how hard you race the engine. Uh, I'm gonna be running an oil temperature gauge and it's actually kind of important to get oil up to a certain temperature. There's an annealing temperature, I believe. I've heard it's about 210 degrees. To 230 degrees is when some of the properties of the oil is actually doing its best job so uh, you can you can post your uh, thoughts on that if you'd like that's what I've heard from some old timers I don't know if they're actually old timers or not but they sounded like they know what they were talking about but anyways um, I like to keep it under 200 degrees generally, but this isn't a hard racing scenario anyways. But basically, back to what the parts list, you're going to need two 45s. The steering rack on the stock K-frame, there's a drop-off like right here. So you have a 3-inch area where you can run something underneath of the rack. And that's what I did with the... Uh, feed line from the uh, oil sandwich adapter and for the uh, it's gonna have this 10 a.m. fitting bulkhead fitting uh, I'm not sure on the bit size yet but I'm pretty sure it's like a three-quarter bit um, anyways and then once it's inside the car I just run a hose short hose up to this hopefully I'll be able to turn this enough to get it to catch my hose um, but yes, this is the EPC valve. It's uh, about as expensive as the canister itself. It's actually, this is 225 on Amazon. This was like 290 something. Um, you can see the part number here. I know it's sideways, but I went with the 25 PSI switch, like I said, if I need more pressure. Uh, if I need more oil pressure, uh, hopefully uh, it'll survive. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to do more research. but So I think that'll work. But basically, you're going to wire this up to a re uh, uh, fuse. 
obviously simple fuse but i'm gonna have it to where this is in line with it so when the switch or this goes to the switch down here and this grounds out i'm gonna make sure it goes through this 90 decibel alarm that you find on military vehicles like the lmtvs um, i bought it from floyd bell very loud so basically my my plan is when i hear that alarm going off i'm going to cut the engine off so uh i let the accusant do its job maybe for a sec pressurize the engine back off and then cut it off i see but basically yeah another thing is you'll have to rotate your tie rod boots i'm running a, i'm going to be running uh this rack depowered so I'm going to be getting rid of all these hoses and stuff and running them uh, like a vented setup. But basically, you're going to have to run this tube here that vents your uh, your tie rod boots. You have to run it. Ooh, sorry. You have to run it through this little gap here. And then I'm going to rotate this one. But yeah, this is basically all you need. I can't get this to sit back up, but here we go. Um, yeah, so yeah, two 45s. I haven't determined what fittings I'll need here. I got one straight, I know that. So the last fitting could be a 45 or maybe a 90. I doubt a 90, but either a 45 or a straight. But I'm gonna have to raise up the AccuSump off the floor. It'll be mounted right, kind of exactly how you see it here on the passenger floorboard, uh, right where their feet would be, kind of. A little beyond where your feet are. But yeah, that's basically all there is to it. You just gotta uh, wire it up to a switch as well. And uh, a very uh, another important feature I thought was it pre-oils the engine after you actually fire it up for the first time. So you'll need a pre-oiler to begin with to get the engine primed very nice and oily uh, before you, as you're cranking the engine over. So you're, you, get, you eliminate that whole cold start wear issue. So that's another great feature of the AccuSump is you can have cold start wear protection by having this, just having 170 to 100 PSI of oil flowing through the oil system before it's even running. So great feature there well, i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video it's already too long hope y'all enjoyed i got more videos coming so i hope y'all enjoyed